Okay guys, I'm here today with Marcos Bochecha, a huge honor for me. Guys, he's the most winner jiu-jitsu athlete in the history of the sport. He has won like 13 world titles as a black belt, six times the open, six or seven the open class, okay. Six, six, six times the open class, and he also closed out one year with Leandro Lo, ADCC champion, Pan American champion, European champion. He's by far the one with the best record in jiu-jitsu. And uh, guys, if you watch his matches, 80% of the times he's on top and he's passing the guard, getting the folding pass. That's a very basic position that everybody can do. And I was super, super, super impressed today with Bushesha when he was showing like how much he knows about the folding pass. So he pretty much has entries to folding pass from everywhere. So when he's on spider guard, on butterfly, on Every single position you can imagine in Jiu-Jitsu, he has an answer to the folding pass. So today he's gonna show us here very quick, like 13 different entries that he has. And that was the instructional video we made with him, all about the folding pass, like all his system to get the folding pass. And it was, was very, very nice to watch because many times you watch him competing and it looks like he does this stuff because he's athletic, but you guys will see like how much he knows about this. And he has that in a system that, I mean, like, if he can do it, I think everybody can do it. Because you guys will see that every single option that I try, any type of guard, he's going to adopt there in the folding pass. So, let's do it. So guys, you, can see, you guys can see that like in any position I try to play, Bushesha finds like a, one situation to get there in the in the in the folding pass. So Bushesha, how did you develop this? Like, ah, actually, uh, I always learned how to use the weight, but I, did, I really got better after I had my knee surgery in 2015 because I was so scared after that to pass through all the recovery thing that was the hardest time of my life so after that I was so scared of people getting close off my knee because I I was really scared to get injury so when I got back when I started training after the surgery it 
make me to stay away from everybody's knee and make people get away from my knee. So that way I really developing the system and I got really better because I ma it make me learn how to use my, my weight of my body to use that in my hip. Because that's that's the whole thing, that's the whole secret. Once you start learning the whole, you to use your whole weight in one spot, that is your hip. Because when you find that, you're gonna force him to react. And my Jiu Jitsu is about reaction. So everything I do, I force you to react when you react. And I always try to be one step ahead. So that's, it's all about my game. So that's why I think I got better, so much better in this. And that's how I start to, to see that from everywhere. So that's why I, that's how I end up creating this, this system. Got it. So uh, we actually missed one as well. So Bushashi, can you do the, uh, the folding pass from the warm guard and show us like what are the concepts that goes on your mind when you are on the folding pass? Because as I said before, like, I have watched you competing like against Preguiça, uh, Keenan, Keenan Cornelius, João Gabriel, myself, I was one of them, one of the victims too. And every time you get the folding pass, your opponents has like no chance. And sounds like whenever they move, you always find a, a thing to make it worse for them. So yeah, like I think it's really good. It's a really good position because once I get there, there is no risk for me. And I force my opponent to work, to react. And I think that's how I guess start getting the variations. And the idea is to try, uh, when I get there, I try to take all my opponent energy. So uh -huh. I try to take all his will away from him. So that's the idea. When I get there, that's what I'm looking for, to make my opponent like work. And if he works, he gets tired, if he gets tired, makes things easy for me. So that's my, my mindset when I'm fighting for this position. Got it. So let's do the warm guard uh, pass. And uh, and then you, you show like the concepts from the yeah. So here, of course, here after uh, before like just go to the past. Uh, I, li I like to show a little bit the concept of the warm guard, right? So I think I need to understand what you're looking for. So now when you do the pressure, you do the pressure on the side of my knee. So once you do that, I can really pass your guard because I'm not facing you, right? So it's gonna be hard for me. So once you start doing the, the warm guard, I I don't mind to for you to have this like deeper, but once I do that, I even help you to get deeper, but I always have to face you, right? So you see, even when I open your knee and face you, it's gonna be hard for you to keep like a good grip. So I make sure that I go, uh, keep you, the hand on the lapel, and now I have to deal with your legs. So if I'm facing you, I'm good. So now imagine that you're gonna reach for your pocket, but actually you're looking for the foot. Here, if I try to push your leg down, of course you're gonna force against, so I'm not gonna be able to push your foot down. So that's why I have to step back. You see when I move, your, your body turns face towards me. So it's gonna be easy to control your leg. Then I, get, I put one leg inside. So here pretty much the arm guard is not really effective anymore. So it's gonna be easy for me. So now you're still facing the way. I need you to face the other way. So I hold the lapel and I step, step aside. So now we're gonna get this position here. So now I need you to face me. And now the other hand, instead of the lapel, I switch and control your knee outside. Now is the moment that I use the long step pass. So I need to drop on my elbow, at the same time my knee connect on your hip, and I need to do the long step pass. I kick and open, right? So look, I drop, and at the same time, boom, I open. I'm gonna break, so as soon as I do that, of course, I'm looking for the long step pass, but I know my opponent gonna react. So once he, do, he does the hip scape, so look, yeah, he's gonna give me the angle, so it's gonna be easy for me to push the leg down, right? So now, I don't really need to jump over, why? Because that's maybe giving him a chance to escape. So I just lift my hip and I step over, right? Once I get the situation here, so now it's time to adjust the position. Right away, Bernardo, gonna, you're gonna react, right? So look, yeah, it's gonna be that fight. So I need to find a way, right? I find the whole idea here is to find the, uh, my whole weight in one spot. That spot's gonna be what? 
my hip, my hip bone is gonna be here, right between his hip and his knee. So imagine it, yeah, your hip bone gonna be like drilling through his, his leg, right? That's the idea. So once I get here, look, I have to make sure that I adjust. So a lot of times you can ask your opponent, like if it's heavy here, if it's heavy here. So when you find the right spot, he gonna tell you. So now four fingers behind his, his neck, the other hand, you're gonna make a grip on his lapel. And now the idea is try to make your opponent like, like a letter C. So I always give like example, I try to make him touch his knee on his nose. So look, I pull, so I push against his calf and his, his heel and step over. Push and step over, push. So now, even if Bernard try put half guard or something, there's look, nothing here. Yeah, it's gonna be hard, right? So, and, but here he's still comfortable because on your side. So I don't like that. So that's when I start connecting my shoulder on your armpit and flat your back on the mat. So now it's gonna be even harder for you to to reach something. So now I push, right? And look, why I push against the calf? Because if I push behind the knee, you still can move your legs. Exactly, a lot of times you can use like to hook my leg. And imagine if I'm running out of time and I'm losing and you're winning. So a lot of times you can use that to like stop me and sometimes it's not good. Of course, you're not really gonna take advantage of that, but sometimes can stop me, slow, slow me down a little bit and I don't wanna that. So that's why I push against, punch you, right? Now, I hide my knee, okay? I always use my knee because sometimes if I hide my foot, you still can use your hooks and stop me. So if I use my knees, there is no hook. So even if you try to use the hook, no way, right? And now I use my, so keep the same grip, but I just don't jump to the side control. I pass, but you see how I use my hip. Imagine, looks like I have a grip pulling. So it's gonna be really tight. And you see how I connect my elbow over your, your hip. Because once I get the side control, if you type turn to the, give me, if you're facing me, you can't because of this on the hook, you need to take my elbow, your elbow in. If you try to give your back, you can't because this gonna block your hip. And if the guy is still like turning too much, you can use your hand to make sure that he tip his, his shoulders on the mat. After you stop him, then it's time to let go, get both on the hook because from here you can move forward, you on the bed. A lot of times I use that to go straight to the mount and a lot of times finish on the arm bar. So it's gonna give you a lot of options. I, I like to do this and my Jiu Jitsu is all, all about connecting. So always when I do something, the, that's how I connect from the warm path to, to the folding, to the pass. And my game is always trying to connect all, every position and make a complete game. Got it. So, sure. So, starting here from the folding pass again. So, it sounds like everything I try to do here, you have like one, one answer, right? Yeah. So, so, like, even with the ways that I had to get there, but even from here, whatever you do, I like to re react a different way. You know what I mean? So, if you just push like that, that's, that, 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 it doesn't bother me because if you push me up, my head's gonna be up and my hips gonna be down. So, all my weight's gonna be on my hip. So, and if you feel a lot of tension here, it's good because I know you're gonna get tired sooner, sooner or later. It's just a matter of time. So here, I just keep working. I make you re work. So if you stop like that, I just do the same one. If you start like pushing me to face me, put your back on the mat, then I start covering and a lot of times I choose to the other side, then I get a better position. If you start like going to the half guard, so I just float and get the pass. So if you're like moving too much the leg, the bottom leg, I can cover your leg, get your head control. Keep the lapel to the other hand, control the bottom leg. And pass to the opposite side. So if I'm finding somebody that's not even like really flexible, I can do the same thing. Get my leg in between, get both legs. So here I force if my opponent's not like flexible, a lot of times they tap here on the ah. but if they don't, they're gonna push back and end up giving me the pass. 
so it's kind of like a lot of variations so when I'm here you know I'm gonna pass behind your back you control my knee so yeah because you know I'm going to turn to your back so I approach my foot push my knee away break the grip make you flat push straight to the mouth finish in a good position so it gives me like a lot of options but it all depends how you react in every reaction that you do you end up giving me a new opportunity so that's the, the good thing about this system because everything that you do you force I force you to do something that I want so I, I drive you I make you react the way I want and I start working on this on these reactions got it so guys we made like almost a three hours video here explain like every single detail about his folding pass and showing like all these ifs that he was talking about when the, the opponent moves to one side moves to the other side use the hand if they pull to the lasso guard if they pull to the spider guard so it's almost like one laboratory all about the folding pass that's Bushesh's favorite pass and I think it's gonna match a lot with you guys because I think that works great for who likes to pass the guard from the knees as well, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's not just about one position, but if you like to pass with your knees on the mat or if you like to pass standing, that's like we just said, we just did, there's variations from everywhere, so it doesn't really matter what kind of game you play, it's gonna fit everybody's oh, yeah. game. Oh, yeah. So, guys, uh, very soon it's gonna be at bjjfanatics.com. So make sure to check that out. I got super impressed with like how much knowledge he has about this system to bring his opponent to the folding pass. So and now I, I understand better why he wins. So thanks so much for sharing. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, much Bernardo, for Thank the opportunity. You. It's a really pleasure to work with you guys. And I'm gonna be back soon. Thank you. Yeah. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.